you ever had one of those winters where you just can't stop buying stuff yeah me too just had one and i've now got less than six thousand dollars in the bank that's because i now own these two fields right here they're right at the top of the hill from the farm and i figured hey why not they haven't had anything done to them yet no crops are in there so i gotta go sell some sunflowers now to be able to make money to be able to put crops in those fields if you enjoyed today's video make sure to hit like subscribe and turn on your notifications all right 38 almost thirty-nine thousand dollars on the sunflower seeds there sweet now i can afford it some lime and some seeds and some fertilizers and all those things gotta go get it all at the shop though i got some other equipment to show you guys too now not all of this is brand new but it is all red i was very very lucky here this week or this winter to be able to get all red equipment except for this i leased this right here but i do want to own one eventually we're gonna go and hook it up to this 9370 steiger right here and go ahead and make our way up to those new fields because both of them actually need to be plowed this is the first tricky crossing right here i gotta get through this without touching anything and turn it down all right perfect i made it i'm gonna go ahead and put a worker on this right now because i'm not actually gonna be increasing the size of the field i just want to go ahead and get it down that way to get the crops down that way i could go ahead and start making some money on this because i got a feeling i'm gonna be moving my cows really soon i bet y'all forgot i had this new holland c332 here didn't you well i sure did now we're gonna go ahead and put our eight bags of lime up here on in this brand new trailer that i picked up to be able to help out with moving a lot of the production items around and some of our other palleted items as well and if I want to later, I could reconfigure it as a bale trailer, maybe even, but I don't think I'm going to. I've got another idea for that. I also forgot that this is an autoload trailer for these regular pallets as well. So I went ahead and hit the autoload feature there and it started to do its thing. So now I've got 16,000 liters of lime auto loaded into some combined goods transport uh, pallet things here on the back. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention this Case IH Magnum 260 right here. Look at these super wide width here on this thing. It is absolutely phenomenal. This was part of the releases on the end of March. And um, super, super excited here. Connect Modding did a fantastic job on this. I am super excited. I don't even know how these things function in real life. Like it's a, it's a hub with a, a wheel and a tire out here way far away. It works somehow super excited to use it absolutely love it as you can see found it on a used deal in the store got a lot of hours on it it is pretty wore out i think i need to do a little bit of maintenance when i'm once i make some more money i'm gonna go and start putting the lime down here on the field hopefully i can make more than a pass Ooh, i need to actually come back and plow that a little bit again but it, it's all right i'm gonna be okay i'm just gonna go ahead and make some passes here with the lime hopefully i can get down and back and uh, not have to use a full hopper because if I could do that, then I could just keep going up and down and up and down. And I can keep filling this thing up every time I get back over here. And we're going to be good to go. So hopefully this precision farming thing works out and it doesn't actually use a full 100%. Maybe, maybe. Did I make it? Ooh, I made it right at the end. All right, let's fill it up and it go again. I'm not really sure what is going on right here, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and try and fill this thing in. I want to go to smoothing to make this as big as I can. I want to go to about here. We're going to try and fill every bit of this in. Now the plow is going to have to come back. I get it. Got it. I think for the most part, let's try and make that just a little bit bigger. All right. Boom, boom, boom. All right. There we go. Now, however much money that cost me, it's going to be worth it because we're going to be able to get the crops in the ground in that area. Went ahead and moved the worker over to the next field here and kind of cleaned up a little bit of the areas that had a little bit of an issue getting it here on this first one. So I should only have maybe one more pass here of the lime coming back down. Hopefully that little bit right there didn't mess me up either. Nope, it still looks good down there on my minimap. So we are good to go. I've got the entire field done and I still have about four and a half bags of my lime here. So I should be able to get this without any problem. And that means that I can go ahead and start filling up this brand new Kinsey planter that I've got as well. Now, this is the multi-fruit planter by Chris S. and Riley S. Absolutely awesome piece of equipment. I'm going to need to use it uh, manually until the update comes out for the workers. If I were to do like the multi and the rolling status, we're going to try today to see exactly if I still need to uh, 
manually do this or if we could actually have a worker do it since i don't have those two things activated so what i'm doing now is putting the rest of the seeds here in this uh planter i've got three thousand liters as you can see right here now i'm going up to the top of the hill we are going to put some seeds in the ground i got the plowing done and i'm working on the rest of the lime right now as soon as i get this done i'm gonna sleep because there's nothing else to do I was getting ready to put everything back up and return all of the equipment that I had leased and I saw this place for sale over here and I went ahead and jumped on it. I took out another little bit of a loan, so I'm now $200,000 in debt. Got $30,000 in the bank still, so let's go ahead and get started here making this new field. But I think this is going to be a, um, how do I want to say, a really, really good investment because this yield here is incredible. This is almost all of the loam soil so it's like 119 percent is the um is the expected yield on this piece of property right here so very very excited to get this now i only have pretty much about to where this tree is i'm just gonna go ahead and round it off for now next to this tree um this property over here to my right is literally only like fifteen thousand dollars so i might come back later purchase this and extend this field up just a little bit more maybe give myself a little bit more room for um, some, taking some trees down, a little bit better mowing, just like that. I'm going to go all the way down here really close to this tree. Going to cut it back over again. Then we are going to go ahead and uh, run right up next to this uh, road as close as I can because I don't really want to try and mess with any of the uh, forestry stuff right now. I want to try and make it so that if I uh, accidentally have a little bit of a uh, distracted moment here i'm not going to be running over my crops over here on the road but we're going to get as close as i absolutely can that way i'm going to maximize my money uh potential here on this field because like i said this field is really really profitable all right so i made this field quite a bit bigger i'm going to go ahead and go in here and purchase the soil information because i'm going to start going and putting lime down as well all right only like eleven hundred dollars that's not bad at all and this field is absolutely massive so i got a feeling i'm gonna need to go pick up some more lime when i was getting the trailer to go grab some more lime i remember that i had a little bit there in the storage that i put there on the farm and it turns out i've got about thirteen thousand liters total so i might have enough here to be able to actually get this entire field done which is going to be great because i got a little bit under thirty thousand dollars left in the bank so anything comes up for sale i'm not really gonna have enough money to be able to get it unless i take out more of a loan so i'm really hoping that i can use the seeds that i have to take care of everything that i've got here already ready for seeds but i can't actually put any seeds in the ground until april because that's when corn is allowed to be able to be planted i got the field done and the equipment brought back to the farm now it's time to sleep until march 2nd hopefully hopefully there's some contracts to do Finally, time to give this new combo a try. The Kinsey Multi-Fruit Planter right here. This thing is going to plant everything that I need. And the brand new, used, kind of brand new to me, Magnum 260. This thing has got this super wide track on it right here. Hopefully, it's not beat up enough that it's going to be able to actually pull this thing back up the hills. I'm going to try and go back and forth this way right here. Get this thing lowered down, take off. We are putting our a corn in the ground like i'm going to be able to go 13 14 miles an hour without a problem here now this is not the fast one this is only just the regular all right i was not able to source the other one not an option this one was the one that was on sale so that actually was okay now let's turn around here flip the other way and see since i'm going uphill i'm gonna have any type of problems at all and if not i'm probably gonna go ahead and let the worker go that's something else that I might need to take care of. I'm not quite sure yet. The cows are getting a little bit, uh, getting a little bit tedious to be able to take care of. So I'm thinking about moving them over into the bigger building. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet or not. Don't know if they're going to be big enough yet. Yeah, I mean, 12 miles an hour. I and mean, that's not too bad. I'm going to hire a worker here and make sure that they're able to do it. Yeah, yeah, I think that's going to be fine. And it looks like my worker knew exactly what I wanted them to do. They went ahead and just jumped right on over to the other field. I guess there are a couple spots that I'm going to need to come back and hit. For the most part, this worker is actually doing it really, really good. Now, they did get to the end here. I'm going to have to reset him. But, I mean, that that's pretty good. I mean, to be able to get this done in, like, short order, 
while I'm trying to figure out the next thing that I'm going to do up there at my animal pastures. Because, guys, seriously, I something happened to those cows. You know what I figure? While that worker is over there taking care of business, I might as well come over here and start moving some of this equipment down to the main farm. Because all of these things are going to be items that we are going to need very, very soon. So I might as well use a fast piece of equipment here to go ahead and move them down in this thing. 74 miles an hour. I don't know why I just don't farm with this thing. And then sometimes it makes more sense to make fewer trips. That's what I'm doing here. I got the sprayer on the front, the feed mixer here on the back. To go and drop these things off where they belong. I'm really excited about using this feed mixer because once I get these animals, the cows over into the big barn, it'll be very, very important to have a, uh, a regimen of TMR for them. Both fields up here are now done. I've already got back and spot checked and spot hit a few of those little spots that they did not get. Now, we're going to go hit that field right there. Now, this field here, I'm a little bit more worried about because it is a little bit more hilly. Hopefully, hopefully, this machine will be able to do it. Now, I know that I'm doing 13 miles an hour right now, but it's only got single tires on it. They are kind of wide, though, but they're not doubles and it's like really really wore out i mean this tractor is probably only about 40 percent health is what it should be so i'm hoping that i can do a little bit of a headland here and then just start going back and forth on this we should be okay i mean really i just need to get up over this hill right here then i'll be able to let this worker just start going back and forth and back and forth we should be good to go yeah yeah i don't i don't think that's a problem Yep, the worker seems to be doing absolutely fine. I am going to have to put some nitrogen on this field after we get done with this. Guys, that's not the big problem. The big problem is up here. My cows, they need more room. Well, that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like if you would. Make sure to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to keep up to date on my future videos. While you're waiting on those future videos, go check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.